Hello YouTube, we are back. Um, I wanna let you know something. So this is, I'm gonna make a video now and I'm gonna make a video the day before. But Packers made it to the playoffs. If you didn't see my video, check it out. Packers made it to the playoffs. We are taking the Cowboys. And yo, when I say that this game's important, this game's important. Literally half the people at my school, like these kids in my science class, not science, art class, they're kind of bullies. They're kind of not, nah. I don't know how to explain it. We were talking about football, and they said Steelers are the. Uh, they were talking, and like they said, this kid was like, "Who do you want to win the Super Bowl? To win the this week?" And this kid said the Steelers, and I said, "I." The kid, I looked, like I shake my head when he said that, and he said, "You kid in the pink sweater." He's like, "You don't like the Steelers?" I said, "No, I want my team to win." He's like, "What's your team?" The Packers. They laughed, and they said, "Bro, your team is not even good. You guys lost half of your games. You lost your starting players." to the Jets and you guys have just you guys and they were making up rumors and lies saying that oh Jordan Love smokes crack and fentanyl with his mother and all this shit about my team like bitch we fucking fought for what we got we fucking fought to be here because in the beginning of the year y'all bitches did not believe we were gonna make a playoff spot you didn't believe we fought and we worked fucking hard to get where we are and we are gonna defeat the Cowboys all these Cowboys fans thinking, it's a young team, it's Jordan Love, like, bitch, we're going to put it in the power. We're going to fucking win, and you are going to be like, damn, everyone's taunting me. Teachers, students, they're like, this one teacher, he's a diehard Cowboys fan, he's like, Tuesday, I'm going to find you. And if the Packers lose, I'm going to come in and I'm going to show you what being a Cowboys fan is like. And this other kid's like, are you sure? There's, he's like, there's no other NFL team you like watching just for fun. I said, no. I was like, I need a say for me to fuck. And I was like, no. He's like, you don't just turn on the TV and just, I said, no, I usually just watch the Packers and if I can't watch them, I sometimes watch the Patriots with my mother, but, but this game is fucking important for us. We need to fucking win so my friends can shut the fuck up because I do believe we're going to make it to the Super Bowl. I believe the youngest team in the NFL, we're going to make it to the Super Bowl. We're going to win. Obviously, also depending on the other teams. Like, if we play the Ravens, if we play the Ravens or the... We're screwed. But, like, I will say, we won. They were like, are you sure you don't want to be a Bears fan? They said, Justin Fields, way better. I said, bitch, the Bears have never won against us. And I said, Justin Fields may not even be your quarterback next year. I don't want to hear it. They're like... We're going to sneak in your house and put a Bears jersey on you. And I said, bitch, shut the fuck up. We're going to win and we're going to outsmart the Chiefs, the Cowboys. We're going to out-fucking-smart them because we're fucking better. Packers are better. We might be young, but that youngness comes with an advantage. We're able to run longer. We're able to move our body in ways that older men in the NFL can't. Like, if you ask Aaron Rodgers, Travis Kelsey, Jason Kelsey to do shit, they're going to fucking fall apart because they're fucking trash. They're not trash. They're just... They're just older, and they're not. If you ask Tom Brady to do that, he probably can. He probably can. He's going to fumble. He's going to fumble. So all I'm saying is, Packers on top. We're going to win this week. And when we win, you're all going to be sorry. My friend asked me to go out on Sunday, play Pokemon. I said, I can't. My football game's on. I'm going to sit. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to focus on the game. I told my mother to go to the store, get some snacks. Watching my game, I don't care. This game's important. Yeah, y'all don't realize I take football seriously. <laughs> I be taking football mad seriously. Y'all don't think, but I be taking it seriously. You think I just sit there and watch it? No. My mother be on Facebook watching her football games. She'd be like, she'd be scrolling on Facebook while her game is on. I'm like, me, when I'm watching my game, I'm in front of that TV. I am screaming, yelling. I'm literally, my phone is not even near me. Just my Apple Watch on me. It's the vibe. But this game is writing a lot. And I was trying not to let those kids get to my head. And one of the kids, I'm in the bathroom. I go out of the stall and the kid's just there. And he's like, Jordan Love's not going to make it this year. He should retire. And you should go to another team that actually wins. I said, bitch, shut the fuck up. The art teacher, he was even like... Root for who you want and who you like. I said, thank you, miss. And the kid was like, I know, miss, but I'm just trying to help him choose a better team because his team is fucking ass. Bitch, shut the fuck up. But that's my little rant. 
I'll make another video closer to the game. Because, bitch, Packers on top. We're going to win. No questions asked. Peace.